Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to route a network, a Wi-Fi network, or a specific device through a privacy VPN such as NordVPN or Molivad. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these VPN companies. I do have a NordVPN affiliate link, but do your own research on which one works best for you. I did a couple of these videos in 2022, but the interface has changed quite a bit. So let's get started. We're gonna configure two different VPN. It will be NordVPN using the OpenVPN config file and Molivad using the WireGuard config. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is go down to our VPN settings, and we're gonna to wanna to go over to VPN client. From here, we're gonna to wanna to create a VPN client. The first one that we're gonna set up is the OpenVPN using NordVPN. I've logged into my NordVPN account and I've clicked on NordVPN on the left-hand pane. So if we scroll down, we're gonna see manual setup. We're gonna set up NordVPN manually. From here, what we need to do, we need to grab our service credentials. So I'll click on service credentials and it's gonna ask me to verify my email. Once I click verify email, it's gonna send me a code that I need to put in. With that code now entered, we can see our username and the password. You're gonna to wanna to copy and paste these down to a notepad. Once we have that copied and pasted down, we wanna go over to server recommendation. And this is where you're gonna pick the server that you wanna to connect to. If you're in Canada or wanna to connect to Canada, that's what you pick. I'm gonna pick a USA server. Now with USA selected, we could pick the server that we want. I'm just gonna click on this top one and we're just gonna do OpenVPN UDP and this will download the config file for us. Before we go ahead and configure it within Unify, I just wanna show you that my public IP starts with 99 and once we route it through NordVPN, it's gonna change and we're gonna also make sure that we don't have DNS leaks. This IP that I currently have as my public IP is based out of Toronto, Ontario. Going back to our Unify VPN settings, we need to upload the configuration file that we downloaded. So I'll click on upload. I've chosen that USA open VPN file and you can see that we need to put in this username and the password, which we got from the service credentials. Now there's a couple different things that we could do within this. We could see the device wizard, select the source of traffic being routed through the VPN client. And then we have the content wizard. Select the destination of traffic being routed through the VPN client, and this will create a policy-based route for us. But I'm gonna create a separate network for this VPN, for NordVPN, as well as a Wi-Fi network. So I'm just gonna apply these changes. At the bottom, you can see that the connection is still amber, but it should go green, and we could see that. And it comes up with a pop-up as we didn't do any of the wizards. Add policy-based route. Policy-based route are required to send IPv4 traffic from devices or networks to this VPN client. I'm gonna click skip for right now. So let's go ahead and create a network and a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna click on networks and we're gonna do new virtual network. I'm gonna call this NordVPN. And I'm gonna deselect auto scale and I'm gonna put it on 192.168.200.1. Doesn't really matter what you go with. And I'm gonna leave the VLAN ID. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna create new and I'm gonna call this NordVPN as well and give it a password of test1234. The network that I'm gonna select is that NordVPN network and then we're gonna add Wi-Fi network. If we just left it on this and put our devices on the network, we're just going through my regular ISP. We're still not going through that NordVPN client. So we need to go over to Policy Engine. From Policy Engine, we're gonna to wanna to go to Policy-Based Routes and then we're gonna create a route. We need to give the route a name. So I'm gonna say Clients through NordVPN. We need to select the interface or tunnel, and then we could have a kill switch. If we have the kill switch on, it prevents the client device from connecting to the internet if the interface is not available. So the interface that we're gonna select is this NordVPN VPN client. Next, we have our source. So we could do it as any, or we could do it a device or a network. I'm gonna select device and network, and then click select. I only have this computer currently on this network, so we could select just the computer and would route through that VPN, but we're gonna do the full subnet of the Nord VPN of 192.168.200.0/24, and we're gonna press save. Now we could do a destination if we'd like, but we want all of our traffic to go through it, so we're gonna add this route. Now this computer is hardwired into the network, so I'm gonna go over to my devices and then I'm gonna to go to my UXG fiber. From here, I'm gonna to go to the port manager, and then I'm gonna click on the port that this computer is setting we're gonna to wanna to put it on the NordVPN network and apply the changes. 
This will take a second. You could do an IP config slash release slash renew, and then you should be on the NordVPN network. Since this computer is now routing through NordVPN, you could see the IP address starts with 193.43, and you could see that the city is Buffalo and not Toronto, so we're looking good. Next, let's do the MALVAD with the WireGuard configuration. Logged into MALVAD, we could see on the left-hand side, WireGuard configuration, and what we're gonna wanna do here, we're gonna wanna generate the keys, so that's what I'll press. Now we have our WireGuard keys, we're gonna select the exit location down at the bottom, and we're gonna select the USA. Now we could select the city that we wanna come out of, I'm just gonna say the top one, which is Ashburn, and then we're gonna select our server and the server is whatever you pick here. Now with this VPN provider, we could do some content filtering if we'd like, so we could block out ads, trackers, malware, adult content, gambling, and social media. I'm just gonna leave everything as default, and we're gonna download the config file. Going back to Unify, we're gonna click on VPN and then VPN client. I deleted that Nord one, and we're gonna create a new one. Here, it's gonna be a WireGuard client, and I'm just gonna leave the name the same, and the setup is gonna be a file. We're gonna upload that configuration file but there is one thing we need to edit. So I'll just show you here. If we upload the file, it's gonna say configuration file contains an invalid or missing the below wired guard options. The reason for this is it has an IPv6 address in it and we need to delete that as Ubiquity won't accept it. So we're gonna open up that file in Notepad. With the file opened up in Notepad, you could see that we have an IPv6 address here. So all we need to do is scroll across and then delete this. Once we save this file, it should be able to upload within our Unify network. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that file again. Now you can see that the configuration is valid. And this time for our device wizard, we're gonna do it right here. We're not gonna create a policy-based route. I'm gonna select the network and it's gonna be that NordVPN network still, and we're gonna press save. So all of my devices that are a part of that network will route through this MOLVAD WireGuard configuration. Now I switch back over to the NordVPN client and you could see that we're doing a DNS leak test and none of the providers are from Canada, which I am in, so we don't have a DNS leak. But if you do have a link, you may have to go into your network settings and switch the DNS server to be one with the provider, either Nord or Mullivad or whichever VPN client that you're using. And that's gonna be it for this video. It is pretty simple to set up, especially through NordVPN. There's not a whole lot you have to do. Download the config file and put in your username and password and then do your policy-based routes. If you have any questions about this video, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.